Hello everyone. So, um, this video I really wanted to talk about my progress in the modeling. Uh, is it, I don't know if it's the modeling industry or if it's the fashion industry, I'm just calling it the entertainment industry. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sean Roscoe. I have tens and tens of viewers. Um, uh, I'm wildly popular amongst the stuffed animals in my bedroom. And um, I love holding kids uh, underwater. And uh, no, but my kid, uh, my son, every time, um, you know, we, uh, he thro throws a temper tantrum and, you know, he holds his breath, you know, to try and get his way. And uh, what I'll do is I'll hold my breath even longer than him. And when I regain consciousness, oh, you can, you can believe uh, that he definitely wants to leave the Toys R Us. So, anyways, um, what I wanted to do is talk to you a little bit about modeling and uh, so my uh, progress so far. So, uh, I have eight points written down for you. Um, the, well, number seven is kind of chock full of crap. So, get your pen and paper out. Those of you who are looking to break into modeling, girls or guys, um, but I'm really, I can really cater to men a little bit better because, you know, I know a little bit more about male models than I do female because our diets are different. Okay, so, uh, number one, I was signed in uh, December uh, in Miami Beach, Florida. Um, it's very exciting. It's very intimidating. I ha I recommend you take a, a a close friend with you, someone that kind of supports you. Um, that way, you know, if you lose your breath and can't speak, then they can literally carry you through the door. <laughs> it happened, and uh, I was kind of like, you know, how you go through life and you're just like, I can handle anything, and then you get to the, the, the to the plate and you're like, oh crap, <laughs> you know, uh, you don't really practice for the mo the moment when you have to actually hit the ball. Uh, anyways, um. I'm a swimmer, why am I talking about that? Baseball. Um, number two, uh, corresponding with high-end models. What I've done is, uh, you know, I don't really have other model friends, so um, I really want to surround myself with like-minded like individuals, so what I did was I uh, started emailing models, and I literally got one male model who doesn't see him as a threat, so he's totally being nice and giving, giving me advice. And uh, some of the other models I've talked to are just mean. Anyways, point three, um, what I've done is I've uh, projected, emailed, whatever whatever words you like. I threw my uh, my portfolio at these modeling agencies, over 40 of them, <laughs> worldwide. Uh, you know, the sky's the limit, and uh, I'm going to act like it. And so, really quick, um, how I built my portfolio is me and my friend, he had a really good camera, and uh, he, was, he was 15 years old, and I was like 20 two and a half and uh, anyway so we just started taking pictures of one another kind of goofing and uh, we, we I mean it ended up actually kind of turning into something serious and then we uh, used those photo I used those photos uh, for some of my song my albums and singles um, and that's how I kind of built my uh, amateur portfolio as you know there's like we just took pictures of just different outfits for like two weeks just for fun just to, it was really fun and loose and we had a good I mean I think the fact that we just we didn't really have a goal. That's why it went so fast and went so easy, and uh, we got some really good pictures. Anyways, so that those pictures are what I've been sending to agencies as well, like a description of myself, as well as um you know like a formal greeting note, which is we're interested in your work. I'm signed here. I live here. I'm available for travel. You know, like the points that they need to hear. You know, um, I look like I am in those pictures of me. Uh, point number. Four, I networked with uh, 15 photographers, um, which leads me to point number five, is that uh, I have six shoots this February um, to finish building my portfolio. Um, you're definitely going to want to be available um, for photographers because without photographers, you're not, I mean, you are a model, but you're not going to take off, you know? So definitely have... Um, photographer friends and then uh, that you can model for them for free and they'll take pictures of you for free and then you both build your portfolios up because they need your pictures as badly as you need them to take pictures so it's kind of like a it's a good relationship but just make sure you're in the right with the right photographers and if you're an all-american look well, you need to take pictures with a guy or a woman who's taking pictures of dudes that are all-american style um yeah, anyways, and then um, number point number six about fitness. Um, everyone's diet is different, so I won't tell you my diet, um, but basically the key for that is proper diet for your body type. So, you, I mean, if you're like looking at Tyra Banks, 
and you want her figure and you kind of resemble Paris Hilton, well, that, you know, I think it'd be a better option for you to um, not, because Paris, because uh, Tyra Banks has more of a full figure versus Paris Hilton. Both beautiful women, um, but both definitely play to their strengths. So play to your strength and your body type. Um, and I had to learn that kind of the hard way. Like, I wish I was more taller and muscular, whereas my body type is slender and athletic. And so I have to kind of, like, look in the fitness magazines for other guys that I'm similar to to do their workouts. Um, I don't know if I made sense there. Um, but what I do, my workout routine, is, um, is arms, chest, and uh, abs... And then I do uh, a lot of work to make sure I don't have love handles. Also, what I eat, I make sure I don't have love handles. Um, so just cut out all fast food. Anyways, and uh, and, I, and I don't do my legs because I'm because I'm, I'm a runner. So I run two miles every day, every other day. And I do my um, arm workouts. Anyways, so just to be toned. And number seven. Okay, so this is my advice so far. For anyone else who, uh, I'm like, I'm not really a freshman anymore, but I, um, you know, I'm not necessarily a, a professional model. I am professional because I've been paid, but I'm not, like, a peer, you know, yet. <laughs> so anyways, uh, my advice so far is don't count on anybody. Um, now it's not, and it sounds harsh, but you know what? Um, everyone's kind of out for themselves, and they're looking to who, I mean, I'm looking for who can benefit from me, so that way I can t get pictures from them, and they can get pictures from me, and we can help each other. So it's not like a, I'm all out for it for myself. I'm kind of, I'm in the mindset of, okay, how can I help you help me? And uh, that way we both get great shots, we both can move forward with something pr that we're proud of. Um, number two on my my advice is never stop. Have a daily goal. If you want to if you want to talk to sixty photographers, you talk to sixty photographers. You know they might not all respond to you within the day, but definitely have a proper note that you can send them. Hi, I am such and such interested in your work. I think we'd be great together. Take a look at my work to to, to you know see to consider me. You know, um, number whatever point. Oh, basically. Follow a model that you look similar to, like Paris Hilton, Tyra Banks, like um, Philip Fusco, or who's the one male model? The one guy who um, was a rapper and then he did the Calvin Klein ad, Marky Mark. You know, follow people that you look similar to, different body types. Um, actually, they're both pretty similar. Well, that's, you know, I only follow people that I look similar to. And, and also, that kind of carries over to follow the model that has the career that you want. So, if you want a career like Tyra Banks, if you want a career like Philip Fusco, then you're going to have to do the work that they did. If you want something you've never had before, you're going to have to do something you've never done. I don't know where that saying came from, but I like it. So, and also if you want what you used to have, well, you're going to have to do what you used to do to get it. You know what I mean? So, uh, anyways, um, be courteous. You have a reputation now as, an, as a model. So, you, it, my mom says that to me, and that was actually really good point, because I got into an argument with another male model. He's like, I'm not your coach, I'm not this, I'm not, I'm not going to share with the strangers, you're the competition. And I said, well, as your competition, I will crush you, as a joke, but I'm a comedian. And I realized that I could destroy him with my words, because he's just a model and I'm a, com a comic. <laughs> That's me, I'm not going to destroy anybody. But anyways, um, just know I have things. <laughs> so, um, be courteous, you know, a smile really goes a long way. It just, you know, just definitely... And you know what? Just take the time to, to, to hear someone out. You know, if someone has a story or someone, you know, you don't have to, like, obviously stop your world. But it definitely, it helps keep you real. And it helps them. And, you know, and that, that's just how the world's going to move forward, I think. Um, I don't think the government's really going to do anything about moving forward. I think that we as the people, you know, need to help move forward and um, need to kind of grow out of our shells. <clears throat> and then one of my last points is, um, I was told this by Philip, is this is your career, and take it to the top. It's the, the gist. And you know what? Email. Call. Uh, go. Scout. Um, go on interviews. Walk in the door. Obviously, that, you know, they don't invite you, but you know, invite, be invited in, you know. And um, definitely just don't stop, because this is what you want to do, isn't it? So do it. You know, and if you don't know how to do it, well, this video will definitely help you. Um, there are a ton of, you know, th places you can Google, there are a ton of how-to videos, so don't tell me that you don't know how, because 
that you have the internet. This is 2013 now. Um, and another thing is definitely keep an address book of, you know, everybody that you um, meet. I don't really want you to see who it is. But anyway, keep an address book. Um, I, I couldn't find an address book that I liked, so I just made one of my own. Um, these are like a hairstylist, the models that I know, the jobs that I've taken, um, my workout routines. Um, these are blank sheets, you know, that way because I need to write in them. And then also in the back of the book I have where I can put my cards. They had like these $12 card books, and I was like, no. So I bought like, you know, what you keep your baseball cards in, or your, well, my mom bought what you keep your baseball cards in or Pokemon in. And so this is where I'm going to keep my cards. Um, so far I do have some cards, but there's a really just circus performers because I hung out with the circus people. Oh, and on the front of my binder is a house that I want, so it's good to see the visualize of the goal that you want. Um, and also definitely have like a vision board or um, pictures hung. That way it kind of you can, like registers in your mind what you need to do, what you really want to do. Um, again, I'm not like an amazingly awesome model or professional, but I do have I have had a lot of um, success with other uh, agencies corresponding with me, being interested in me, um, and also photographers wanting to talk to me. So if um, if you have any questions on like how do I get on the in, you know, basically this is how I'll tell you is how you get in with everybody is you just start today, right now. You email, you get on Facebook, and you get on Google, and you look up you know Model Mayhem, and you look up Models.com, and you look up Models R Us or whatever the websites are, and you just take it. You just take it to the top, and you know what? Once you start, it's really difficult to stop because this is my career and this is like the first thing I've had in a long time that I really have had like genuine feedback and success in. So, um, so I'm very excited about this and I'm very, I'm glad that I have a YouTube show to kind of share it and to kind of like have you guys keep me accountable, you know. So, well, that's all I really have for now. So if you have any other questions, feel free to comment below. Um, Email me at seanroscoeconnection dot at gmail dot com. seanroscoeconnection at gmail dot com. Um, that's not my personal, but that's one of my you know that's what I use for this stuff. So, anyways, um, yeah, not a whole lot else to talk about. Um, I lost the van keys, and I can't go anywhere today. I think my mom took them. She didn't mean she knows what she did. So I'm gonna go watch Friends DVDs now. Oh yeah, and I'm not editing this video. This is too much.